Hey, welcome back to Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters game play. Uh, we have exciting, we have a lot of exciting things happening here. So this is seeding the bloom. We need to try and get a uh, seed from an enemy, which I'm presuming we're going to learn about uh, on this mission. We also have our first bonus objective. So we're going to try and win this with no critical injuries. And if we do that, we get plus one uh requisition and i think if we lose it yeah if we fail that we actually lose a requisition so it's not just a bonus but the way i read this is we would lose one so uh we're gonna we're gonna go for it and uh i'm hoping that this is a good kind of mission selection that i made based on having a, a rank three interceptor come in and be available i'm hoping that's uh solid but we'll see how that all works after this mission i suppose so uh Let's confirm that. We've got this set up. Our Justicar uh, Krajim here, level one. And everyone else is level two. I'm trying to keep like a balanced squad and making sure that we're bringing out rookies and stuff. So Purgatory Eclipse is here, Interceptor Kimosabi, and Apothecary Mama Bear. We also have a Stratagem of this Quicksilver, which I think is a global type of ability. And uh, we should be able to use that this mission as well. Let's begin, shall we? Thank you guys for all of the advice that you've been giving. A lot of the lore drops are very interesting for me to read as well. Um, the, the most common theme that I've seen is uh, be more aggressive and don't be afraid of melee. And this is a common quote. I know it's not explained in the game very well, but here's how X, Y, and Z works. And that's super helpful because there is a lot of things that are could be... A little bit more clearly explained, especially on a first playthrough, but um, with your guys' help, we will get through this, I hope. Hmm. The Ultramarines appear to have been holding this ground until a recent Death Guard assault. Curious. I would not have expected Nurgle to use direct force to lay the groundwork for the Bloom. Yes. The Plague Lord's methods are generally more indirect. Perhaps this skirmish held some other purpose. Commander. Your brethren must recover one of these seeds from a living host. I have trained your warriors to focus their senses. If they perform a precision strike in hand-to-hand -hand combat, they should be able to locate and extract any seed present within the foe. Now, I read something that was saying when this warp surge hits the first couple of times, that's going to trigger uh, enemy reinforcements. And when you pick a mission, it shows you how many enemy reinforcements there are. So that's something that we have to balance with our willpower, and it's a pretty neat mechanic. Um, but then beyond those reinforcements, other type of modifiers come into play, and they're always bad. So, fun times. Fun times. Now, is this going to trigger that pod? Good question. Let's find out. I don't want it to. Okay, it didn't. So we want to be triggering these, um... Moving swiftly. Ideally, when our whole group is kind of ready to act and sort of in position, um, so that they can all get the AP back. We've talked about that a couple times. It'll take a, a little while for me to kind of finesse that, but I think we have a, a decent handle on it. The foe is close. Let the hunt oh, continue. hello. Okay, that's beyond the walls, though. Bloom rises. Okay. Should we just get right in there? Oh, he's got eyeballs on the belly. You know, that's going to be bad news. There it is. Commander, harvest the seed from that creature's flesh. This will be illuminating, Commander. Okay, extracting seeds from a seed carrier must successfully crit them with a melee attack. Okay, so it has to be a melee attack. Crits have a chance to occur with any direct melee or ranged attack. Okay, but for seeds, it has to be melee. Now, we do have abilities that can get us that guaranteed crit. Um, let's click on this. Do we see... 
anything. Oh, it wants us to look at the stratagems. Vakir can now support you from orbit with powerful stratagems. Advise, Select a stratagem to deploy it and give extra AP to one of our knights. An extra two. I am assuming this is a single use permission. So I might just hold that for a sec. Um, so if we were to come in here, open the targeting detail UI to see your chance to crit with this attack. So currently at 25%, but with force strike, that's not the one. That's not the one that I want. Um, somebody I else has a skill. I'm pretty sure. Unleash me. Is it our interceptor? He can't reach there. But what he does have is this new teleport strike. Dealing four damage to all targets in the zone. Like, that seems really quite strong. Onward, brothers! Your horrors invade our realm. It's the second time it's showing me that, which makes me a little bit concerned. So, teleport strike. That's our new skill. I don't know if I'm going to be able to work on this guy here. This is going to use three willpower, which is going to impact this. Even just hovering, I love that it actually shows where the bloom's going to go based on this. Uh, four damage to all targets. All within this circle. One. Two. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. One, two, three... Can this guy be selected? Now, why can't he be selected? It does say I have to select a number of targets and a valid destination within range. Let's say I was coming over here. Then I could go here. The circle seems to shrink every time. But we want to crit this guy. Right? So this is not going to be the way to do that. If, if I wanted to, I should focus on... Weakening a bunch of these guys, maybe. Just, it's a bit... I'm not exactly sure why I can't select these targets. If you guys have info on that, um, let me know. Like, I can select these guys. Maybe this circle is not as, as generous as, like, the grenade circle. Um, and then I gotta, I gotta select a destination too, right? So do I just leave the ultimate dangle there? It's, it's pretty risky. We'll see. Warp speed biomancy. Target a knight within one range to gain plus two crit damage for melee attacks, plus one move speed for two turns, and immune to autos. Okay. What is your will? Um... If we came in here, Force Strike is not what we want. I feel like maybe it's on your, orders. your basic attack that you can't get in here for right now. Hmm. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to use a grenade from this spot just to kind of weaken everybody. And then we'll see about... Oh, that actually hit. That actually hit that guy. I didn't see him glowing. And we blew up that thing in the middle. Uh, exceptional. Yes, I totally intended on doing that. And everything's going according to plan, which is uh, just great. Okay. So I do have shots at this guy, which I want. I kind of want to leave this guy alive so I can take that seed. And by kind of, I mean absolutely necessary. Does this guy have a ranged weapon? Doesn't look like he does. Up to four corpses within Area 3 of the Poxwalker rise as grown Poxwalkers. Okay, that's that's going to maybe pose a bit of an issue unless I can uh, kill him. Which I don't think I can. I don't quite have the range. Moving out.
I can Cybolt for bleed here. I don't think I need to do that right now. See, if I go in here, I guess I have to figure out a way where I'm I'm guaranteeing uh, a crit, right? Because if we kill him, then we lose the... It does say eliminate all seed carriers, but we want the seed, right? So it's a little bit weird in that regard. If I force strike, I do kill, so I will do it. I'm thinking it was maybe our other uh, unit that had the guaranteed crit thing. Yes, come on. Let's go here. Finish this guy. Shoot a target at 10 range, deal 5 damage, and blast. Okay, so that's another option that we could have used in that opening thing without having to use a grenade. It's good to know for the future. That's cool, man. Love a good exploding enemy. That tickles. Okay, that's going to be a bit of a problem. We're going to have to tank our way through that, aren't we? What is your will? Okay. So first of all, let's see. Four strike is not going to be what I need. It's only 30%. Um, that's not going to be it. No crit. I am here to serve. The game might, might be ready. generous with us and just give it to us. Crit vulnerability 30 there. I think this is... Hmm. Actually. You come on. Was it the Apothecary? Our Apothecary has better armor, so... It's actually... Okay, it's at 30. Or, sorry, 25. My blade is ever ready. Here with their Reeg's Edge, we get it up to 30. Maybe we just go for that. Okay. Um, extract seeds. Select the target point with the seed. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yes, we have it. So Start I'm guessing maybe on these guys. Return with that seed as soon as you can. Maybe because of the story element. What is your will? The game is is being generous and just giving us the the crit on those guys. Okay. So we were getting a ping back in here. And like super deep here, right? Uh, this actually shows the one with the seed carrier. So we're going to get hyper-focused on that destination. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be avoidable or not. So our interceptor, I think we want to be having up close and personal as well. We can use that cool little chain attack. Oh, didn't mean to trigger him there, but. Bring him. We shall claim victory with blood. Yes, we shall. All right. I'm thinking this looks decent. I just don't love that that unit, the Interceptor, doesn't have all the, uh, doesn't have all of the armor that we have on other units, you know? 
This looks like another grenade opportunity, and this thing, again, could be blown up, I think. That'll do. Everyone's on fire. Love that. The pain will set you free. Okay. Let's take a look at this again. Teleport strike. So they're in the bubble, but I can't select them for some reason. I could select this one, but then I'm going to be on fire. I could select this guy, and it looks like the further out we go, the smaller that next bubble becomes. I could go there. Okay. It's interesting. I'm trying to get a hang of that, but I don't quite have a hang of it yet. I guess we'll kill the closest ones. These guys are so far back. That was a not great situation to trigger in. Purgator, my friend. Okay. That's uh, intimidating. My will is unbreakable. Standing ready. Okay, now check this out. What if we teleport strike around here? Presumably. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now we're talking. That is sick. That is sick. And then I'm still going to end with two actions, so I could go in and slam this dude, but he seems to explode. That might not be the greatest plan I've ever had, but maybe I could head over this way still with two actions. Like, that is awesome. Oh! 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 Wow, bro. That is incredible. I love that. I love that. We go four strike here. It's a small increase to the bloom. Seems a bit inconsequential. It doesn't change my... Like, the damage, he's not killable anyway. So in this situation, I look at that as like, well then, I probably shouldn't do it. Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, because I went in with... I had two actions left. Yeah. Okay. That'll, that'll work for me. Thanks. Alright, you should be... meleeing here. Another falls to the Knights of Titan. Yes, sir. All right. Enemy down. Yes, come on. We're getting the hang of things. Halt. With what? Um, I still have extra oh, shots, so I'll just take two regular shots here. Oh, we got them. We have purified this place. Yes, you are, sir. Okay. Your orders. Get our purgator involved here. Now. I am here to serve. So you can climb this. Did I read correctly that? Oh no, we can all climb this. Okay. There's something to do with the the different armor that we have um, being impacted Moving or impacting now. our ability to climb certain things. But this is a pretty conveniently placed staircase. 
Uh, yeah, this teleport strike, that's really cool. <laughs> okay. Purgator. Uh, let's get moving in this way. Yes, come on. And just a car. This is fine. Okay, so this is the one with the seed. Standing ready. Unleash me. The Emperor lies on you. What is your will? Taking position. If that doesn't trigger, we'll run in with our uh Justicar. Yeah, there we go. That works. <laughs> Who's got the seed? This dude, hey? Well, that's fancy. My blade is ever ready. Okay. Perhaps I can't select future when I don't have an exit spot. That's kind of what I'm thinking is, is going on there. My blade is yours. Uh, oh, you're completely blocked by our Purgator. I'm thinking a nice little explosion there could work. I could take a look at knocking that down, perhaps. Moving now. Oh, I'm, it's out of range. Uh, do I want to really make a chance at taking that down? I mean, I sort of do. We have other backup options. Okay, so it's pr it's a sm it's a small distance, but I can hit all of these guys, which is no joke. Yeah, this environment stuff, that is sick. Kaboom. No demon shall avoid its fate. Yes. I am here to serve. Uh, can we just take this guy out? Not from here. I could just use a grenade to blow this guy up. And call it a day. Taking position. Or we'll come close to it. I should consider that knockback, because he's probably going to be a lot closer to us now. Yeah, whoops. Hello. <laughs> great. That's... That's great. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, I think that's just an explos explosive. It also seems to be contextual in which these pop up. I don't. I didn't notice this before, so maybe it's like, you can only target it when an enemy is going to be possibly impacted by it. I'm assuming his explosion uh, causes us some problems. So we're about to find out. Plagued. Okay. Uh, can I see that? Afflicted target suffers two damage a turn. Uh, yeah. My blade is ever well, that's not great for us, is it? I'd say no. Vengeance! I am the Empress Fury! I could set up an Overwatch. I don't want to kill this guy is the problem. Do I use this for three willpower? Maybe not. Also, I don't know if they can use this environment or not. That's another interesting little tidbit. Moving swiftly. Uh. 
Now, hopefully those, these don't lead to any critical injuries here, but we are going to take a bit of a beating up front, I think. We're in cover, so that's mitigated. That's a really nice overwatch, actually, because he's protecting that guy as well. <laughs> Armored by faith, eh? Okay, that's less of a powerful overwatch, in my opinion. Okay, so we're up to 95. Praise the Emperor. Target a knight within range 1 to heal 5. So that range is one action point range, it seems. Oh, this is gonna... Oh, no, maybe not. No, it's right next to him. This would trigger the Overwatch, which I think is fine. We can tank that. We've got armor. Okay. Now, let's do a couple of things here. Um, if we go for this... Well, that's not who I want to be doing that. So, 40% here. That's like the best it's going to get. Right? So, what I'm thinking is... We go here, I have one remaining. And then we could have, we could give the stratagem. Actually, do I even, is that really what I want to do? Let me think about this. What about our Justicar doing this? 35, we get that extra 5% over there. Storm. All right, let, I mean, let's do it. Let's let's go for this. I mean, either way, this is going to be at 100%. Just trying to decide if I should take that health damage there or not. Plus two crit damage for melee attacks, plus one move speed for one turn. Yes, okay, this is clearly the safer way to do this. All of them, Commander. However, I sense there are disturbances in the huh. below. The tech priest will extract your brothers shortly. Do your best to keep them alive. So the question is. Did we get enemies will arrive to seek retribution next turn? Eliminate seed carriers. Hold for extraction. Guardians of the seed. So it looks like the little seed icon did pop up there. Which makes me feel like uh, we got them. But maybe in the future we're going to have to be a lot more diligent. In making sure that we're using stuns or 100% or crits. You know what I'm saying? That's really weak. My blade is ever ready. May as well four strike now, Dinner. right? What's the difference? Oh, there we go. Plus one stun. We'll disable ranged here. I'm thinking with stuns, okay? So because these enemies are so weak that uh, in the future, it becomes much better to apply a stun when the enemy is going to survive multiple attacks. Because then you can actually stun them, and then you can execute them. But these enemies are so weak that it doesn't seem to matter. I am the Emperor's Fury. Uh, you might be better off just shooting. For the Emperor! Depleted. Another Always question that has come up is, uh, let's, repla let's replenish your ammo, is uh, will I do multiple missions per episode? And yes, once if things speed up and missions are going pretty quick, um, 
then yes, I will. I presume we can just drop an Overwatch on this. Right? Like, that seems like a good idea. Assuming these work the way that I think they work. So this guy steps out of cover to set up that Overwatch. Guess I'll set one here. I only have one action left. And then you still have those roaming pods. I sense the enemy converging. Oh, hello. Brother, stand ready. Knights of the throne. Nice, nice. Oh, they they scattered way back. One of your knights suffers the hobbled affliction for three turns. Okay. Hobbled. Minus two move speed. That makes sense. What is your will? Yeah. Um, if we shot this. Okay, so it's pretty it's pretty wide. I think here we have one grenade left. We toss it into this group in the back. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. Let her rip. I think that was pretty lucky. He bounced into something. The big tanky boy that he is. Uh, is this guy killable? Not quite. So, I guess if I want to save, I could use 1 AP to get here and have more actions. Let's do that. In an instant. Oh, beautiful. I think in this scenario it's not going to matter. Because we're going to have a follow-up attack anyways. So to the unworthy. I feel like we're in a pretty good spot there. So, uh, we're low on willpower now. Uh, the way we get willpower is by killing things, I think? If I'm not mistaken. I gotta be mindful that these guys are gonna pop up over here. We bring death. Okay. The three willpower now. Good. Just a car. Let me get you over here. And I still have one action left. I think I might just heal myself. Uses three willpower. I must meditate. Oh, pinned. Okay. Yeah, see, they, they actually spread back into a really deep cavern there. I wonder if we're going to end up engaging with that other group. Oh, boy. Nice flank. There's a little arrow there. Potentially showing where they're moving next. Minus one AP for their turn. Okay. So it's the first time we've seen that. This guy's not really killable. 25% chance to crit. 
Huh. What are my shots like? Not great. Half cover, medium range. At your service. So if I leave here, we're getting opportunity attacks. Which is bad. I might have to go Aegis Shield. Shoot a target at 10 range. Guarantees crit. Which could be decent. Let's Aegis Shield this. This Oh, look at that. That is really cool. Or I just take the two damage. Afflicted target deals minus two damage to their melee attacks. Explosion. Or the target can no longer use Pestilential Explosion. And plus two damage I feel like would be enough to kill him. But if I don't kill him, we're going to get that explosion anyways. So it's one of these. I feel like this should bring it down to seven. It's not showing correctly, though. So maybe I'm misreading it. Let's do this. Play it safe. That's really cool. Okay. I didn't know that you could do stuff like that. Awesome. I think we just come in here, get this kill. Mercy in death. Little concerned here. This does say it's immune to autos, so I should be able, in theory, to come back here and pop twice right behind him. Yeah, that is... What a cool class. The Interceptor might be my favorite. And then we'll have two attacks here. <laughs> the enemy weakens. Nice. And I'm happy with our positioning on that. The only question now is how do we handle this? Like, yeah, I could run in there. What if I force strike? Plus one crit damage, if we crit. He's got armor. Okay, well there's our auto that went off. Now, the way I'm understanding the melee ones is that it's, I think, 50% chance to trigger? I don't know that I can rely on it. I'll have, to, I'll have to research that a tad. Now, will it automatically end? Do I need to get to an evac zone? Nice. Okay, cool. This is... Thing, some things are starting to click. I still have a lot of questions. Uh, we'll figure things out together. Things are going great. Your armor value protects your knight's health and regenerates at the beginning of their turn. I don't think we took any critical injuries. Yeah, baby. Okay. Seeds collected. Very nice. I'll see what this armory access does. You can select as many rewards as you like. Unspent requisition can be used after future missions or at the next Grandmaster's report. Oh. I see. Spend your available requisition, we have four, to gain access to new armaments, war gear, and resources from the Armory of the Titan. They'll become immediately available in your inventory. Uh, so here, I think we're going to take a rank three interceptor to be sent from Titan to join your forces. Uh, let's see, this gun. The weapon gains plus one ammo. Oh, cool. Okay, so these are, okay. Knight's Overwatch ability gains plus one damage. 
Overwatch gains an additional plus one. But it looks like one of those is locked for some reason. This is the Retribution gun. Not, not sure why the damage upgrade looks locked, but the ammo upgrade is what's ticking in, but that's fine. And then here is a piece of armor, Scholar's Diligence. See, there's upgrade options, but can I select these? Huh, I'm interested to see how that works. This is a Psy Cannon, Class Restricted Purgator Purifier. That's a class I don't have yet. But we should try this soon. But yeah, I'm unsure of, of how that, that part of it works. And then here... I can't click on any of this. Maybe it's chance-based or something. Green, yellow, blue. Unspent requisition can be used after future missions or at the next Grandmaster's report. So, requisition is very key for us because getting these rewards, uh, we have to spend a resource. So, the more we can do this, the better. You satisfied with your requisition requests? I guess so. Couple of wounds there. Not bad. Uh, no promotions. Unfortunately. You serve the Emperor well, Commander. We should study this seed at once. Everything rests on what we might learn from it. Yeah, I would agree. So psychic attunement. She's saying I should maybe switch to that. I'm I'm gonna finish psychic attunement. Okay? I'm gonna finish that up, and then I'm gonna switch to the seed. This will give us a requisition and probably unlock a bunch of other stuff. Now these, mission unreachable in time. That makes sense because these are pretty far away. You guys had said too, like most times early on, I'm not gonna be able to get to every mission, but ideally I, as we get go forward, I should be able to get a couple going. Right? From time to time. So. Hold on a second. Grimoires. Yeah, this is the prognosticars. We have this one attuning, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's just travel here. So the wound times are no joke, I'm noticing. No joke. Actually, and I want to look at our new guy, too. Intervention required. Commander, my servitors have flagged some interesting chatter from a nearby way station of the Officio Medicae. They appear to have been inoculating their patients against the effects of the bloom. Well, that seems we useful. travel to the facility and investigate. I will mark its location on the star map. Official Medicae, I'm guessing that's here. Okay. Yeah, we will definitely head down there. Let me just look at our barracks for a second. So, rank 3 Interceptor. Caesarian Trevan. Uh, so, how does this work? Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. So these are all preset upgrades. Okay. Yeah, that sort of changes my opinion on whether or not we want to get guys that are fully upgraded. Um, what is going to be nice is maybe it'll it'll let us experiment a little bit. Um, what's cool is this is going heavily into the crit percentage chance. And uh, I do feel like, you know, crit percentage and stunning and stuff is going to be pretty important. The Interceptor's melee attacks cannot be parried. 
And this knight gains plus five range for their equipped grenades. All right. Yeah. What do you guys think about that? The fact that their stuff is pre-selected. I wonder if that's a boon. You know? Okay. Minus two corruption in the system. I've merged your collections with the volumes from my ship. It will form a repository of knowledge unrivaled in this sector. Already the Union has paid dividends. I have instructed your prognosticars in a novel method to frustrate the Bloom's advance, predicting its most probable vectors and transmitting the data anonymously to authorities on the ground. All right. So now we're going to go into the seed. Foxwalker Carcass carried remnants of a corrupt seed that was destroyed along with its carrier. I need to study an intact seed recovered from a live host in order to ascertain how they function to spread the plague. Uh, remember, we've realized over here that there's a seed counter, and you can see all of these require uh, seeds to unlock. So, yeah, cool. Let's, uh, let's unlock this. It's going to take a while. What else do we have going on? So the wound times, uh, the meditation chamber. I don't know if that's going to be good or not, because... I guess we'll find out once it's built. I feel like the XP is is great. Um, but it depends how we use it. And that's a total unknown. Okay, our prognostic requires detected the presence of three new eruptions. Great. So first things first, I'm going to finish up going here and seeing what, what this is going to be about. At the Medicaid's facility, I will depart in my frigate and make direct contact myself. With the bloom outbreak so rampant in this area, it could take me some time. Can you not simply seize their records? You have the authority. Such biomancies can be exceedingly complicated. Without examining their patients firsthand, it will be time consuming to understand their process. <laughs> Interesting. So, what this is essentially saying is, there's all these other uh, things that we need to investigate right now. There's all these other missions. If we interrogate them or take time to study their process, we're going to be here for different amounts of time, which is going to limit our ability to do those other missions, right? Or I can just say, use your authority, seize it right now. Hmm. She's suggesting that we should examine the patients firsthand. This might backfire, but Medicaid are not known to be particularly efficient. Ooh. I will return when I can. Okay, so Vakir is has gone to do this, which means the stratagems that we have access to are locked, which right now doesn't matter. We only have one. Uh and then the edict is immobilized for ten days. Zero percent ship speed. Yeah. Okay. Fun times. So if I select travel here. Yeah. So I'm still going to be in place. I like that. So at least you have your, your setup. Okay. A meditation chamber has been consecrated and is ready to house your men in quiet contemplation. Although silence is a strange concept to me. Any time I'm interfacing with at least 436 of the vessel's logic nodes, I crave the noise. You may need quietude to commune with the Emperor, but the machine god speaks to me through the clamor. Yes, okay. Meditation chamber. Ship status. All right. I'm going to not upgrade the ship right now. I think, was it this one to get an extra prognosticar? Fallen Brothers, uh, the Barracks is a decent option. I think this one too, gaining extra Servitors over time, seems nice. Yeah, I think that's good. Improved Reactor Output 2. Okay. So, this doesn't seem to have unlocked, like, a special thing I need to put people into to um, gain XP. It does seem to be a flat XP boost, which is great. 
I think. Yeah, see, I'm wondering if we're even going to be able to get there. Commander, it has been a fruitful excursion. We have slowed the bloom spread to a crawl upon this world. Unfortunately, the solution relies on a volatile local compound, and so cannot be applied elsewhere. We should huh. return to our strategic objectives. So this specific system has minus two corruption. Or a specific system. What was it? In Terrace, it was this one. So even though I'm not going to be able to get here, uh, we've slowed the bloom there, right? Like you can see here, bloom situation, uh, not super great for us. So that sucks, I think. I don't know what happens if it reaches max or what have you, but either way. Uh, let's try and get somewhere a little central, I guess. Not going to be able to get there either. It is clear that these seeds are fragments of some vile artifact, saturated with corruption. Once fused with organic life, they spread rapidly from the host, afflicting whole populations with a deadly plague. All according to the plague god's desires. Yes, but what confounds me is how it spreads so quickly between solar systems. I have issued an interdiction order for this sector. Interplanetary travel will be limited. With the Emperor's mercy, it will buy us some time. Denial! The Baleful Edict is far too damaged to begin a new campaign. And yet it must. This bloom is already ripening, evolving fast towards some dire purpose. Would you truly turn your back on the trillions of souls the Plague God threatens to devour? Never. But how do you propose we stop it? This seed radiates a psychic imprint from what I believe to be some kind of origin. With further research, I will be able to pinpoint that location. I would rather we simply purge them. That is the difference between us, Purifier. You are the hammer, but I am the one with the burden to wield. <laughs> Destroying it well now said. would silence the only lead we have. If I can prove these seeds all radiate from the same destination, then we can follow that trail and destroy the source of the Bloom's power. Challenge. You said seeds. You deduce much from only one. You are correct, Tech Priest. I need more. One is not sufficient to prove my theory. Commander, you must send out your knights to harvest more. You would have us limp around the sector with more of this corruption in my hold? I agree it is far from ideal, Dominus. But if the Inquisitor can locate the source of this corruption, then I advise we comply with her request. Affirmative. Excellent. We have no time to waste. Yeah, so we need to be getting seeds constantly in order to be doing research. So any opportunity we get, it's like pretty crucial. As the bloom ripens, its seeds call out to a hidden concentration of cancerous energy. Yet this is their critical flaw. I can use the psychic resonance to track a spore to the source and unleash your gray knights upon it. In the meantime, they must harvest the seeds I require. Yes, yes, they must. You have my attention, knight. How are you gonna use the seeds to find the nexus? You doubt me, commander. Psychic resonance that covers each seed leaves a spore I can follow. The more we collect, the stronger the trail to the nexus. And what do you think this nexus is exactly? I do not know where the psychic scent will lead us. Yet. What I can tell you is these seeds have been germinating for some time. They require a safe location where the warp has already taken hold in the materium. One that would not readily fall under our scrutiny. Somewhere they could be left undisturbed for centuries. You're just talking hundreds of years. Several hundred, undoubtedly. Put it plainly, the Lords of Chaos are powerful indeed, but we both know they cannot act in real space with total impunity. This plague has been in the works for a long, long time. Very well. Is this the first time you work with the Grey Knights? To be honest, I had doubted your chapter's very existence until recently. It would appear the old adages are true. There is strength in secrecy. So how did you learn of us? I contacted the Ordo directly for martial support. After the Astropath delivered her message. Okay. 
The only response was a set of coordinates, and I followed them. The edict appeared shortly after. You can imagine my surprise. Our return to Titan was unscheduled. How did they know we were here? The Ordo has the best prognosticators. Unrivaled in reading the Emperor's Tarot. Huh. So they were, like, telling, you know, uh, futures or what have you. I guess I'm thinking that's what they mean by tarot. There are other methods of divination that the ignorant would call heretical. What matters is the Emperor clearly meant for us to intersect. Nurgle's plague must be stopped. If we must. My research beckons. Okie dokie. So now we have some other options here. Look, five seeds. Holy smokes. I'm gonna... I feel like if we don't get a seed to constantly be researching, it's gonna feel like a huge waste of time, right? Because time is going to pass and you're not researching something useful. Uh, what is this? Advanced seed access. We need more seeds in order to understand this bloom, but they have proved frustratingly volatile. I believe I can devise custom tools to aid in extracting them whole before the carriers are destroyed. Missions. Plus one seed extractor servo skull. Seems good. An extra stratagem slot. We don't even have extra stratagems, so that doesn't matter. Uh, minus 5% warp surge per turn. Yeah, I guess that could be good as well. Plus one willpower on warp surge. Okay. Does that mean everybody gets plus one willpower when the bar fills? I think. Um, I've discovered that the seeds are attuned to a nexus of cancerous energies. Location is shrouded. It's the key to eradicating, I'm certain. But first I must use seeds to manifest a trail. So I need to build up five seeds to be able to do this. So I either hold seeds... Yeah, I guess we'll see. <laughs> this definitely seems the way to go. Missions plus one seed and get this extracto servo skull to make it easier to extract seeds. So, yeah. That seems like the way to do it. Lunette. Petrical demands a preliminary salutation. <laughs> Consider this requirement fulfilled. Uh, descendant of the Elcor. Yo, these fragments, they're more than seeds. Preliminary analysis suggests their origin lies prior to the great heresy. Although origins remain unknown, further study is required, although the Inquisitor's requirements take precedence. How can an Archaeotech shard spread disease? The machine spirits can be corrupted by the warp like any soul. Heretics spread scrap code. Spirits that were once honorable now serve the dark powers through ruinous algorithms. Have you encountered such entities? I once had the opportunity to study a predator tank that shared the Black Legion. Its machine spirits were corrupted and vicious and desperate to spread their taint. Even into my own blessed machinery. An instructive experience, but I was forced to destroy them before observing the limits of their behavior. I'm 12, by the way. Affirmative. You care about the ship, yet it does not belong to the priesthood. Ownership is irrelevant. My duty is to her. That's fair. You care more for this ship than its retinue. Its storied history eclipses that of anyone currently involved. I'll avoid her coming to harm at all costs. I love how Lunette's like, yeah, obviously. <laughs> Okay. How's construction going? Have reached critically low numbers. We're in the midst of procuring the raw materials we need. The number of penal worlds that uh, nearby that I value to be free of viral, contamin viral contaminants with at least 87% confidence. So we should be able to acquire acceptable specimens without altering our course. Affirmative. I must attend to repairs. Ektar. Do you seek wisdom, Commander? I am no ancient, but might be of some help. Just keeping you up to speed, the Inquisitor wants us to harvest more seeds. The cost of working with the Inquisition, brother. She would have us suppress our righteous wrath to gather her research fodder. So you're not into it? The Inquisitor's methodology has proved fruitful. I'd prefer to purge Nurgle's servants on sight and holy fire. The Inquisitor's methodology has proved fruitful. Lead her to this nexus, and we shall fall upon it with the righteous fury of the Emperor himself. By all means. Have you fought against the Plague God's minions before? Nurgle is a powerful and detestably creative enemy. What do you mean creative? The Plague God does not simply desire death and destruction like Korn. He plays with life, changes it, shifts it into twisted and corrupted image of his own devising, and his foul works adapt relentlessly to survive. We must purify every last trace of the plague, or it will transform into something new and spread once again. Whatever best helps you, Commander. I hope that aids you, brother. 
Okay. So, I guess let's travel here. We're waiting for something to pop. Research source of the bloom. And that's only going to come up here. Yeah, that's a long time. Our uh, research bonus is off now, so... Is there a way to tell how many days are left before the uh, monthly statement comes in? I don't see anything here, but let me know. Here we go. Okay, so I really need to try and take a couple of missions here, I think. Uh, this place has some corruption happening there already. Minus two corruption level when attuned, which is good. Enemy types detected. Blue mission deadlines get extra three days. Um... Corruption level one. This is corruption level zero, and this impacts how fast that warp surge builds up. Plague Marines. Oh, this is this could be some interesting new stuff. Um, either way, we're gonna do both of these missions, uh, and I feel like we can make that happen. All right. Um, another one with no critical injuries. I, th I think that's worth attempting, especially if we have um, some extra stuff there, you know. Rank 2 Interceptor, Tier 1 Stormbolter, and Power Armor. So, without knowing too much about these specific enemies, it, this doesn't help right now, but we're going to have to start paying attention to what these things are capable of. We know that big bloater exploder guy now, so that's fine. But, uh, yeah, we'll just try and find some more seeds here. So I'll tell you what, I will wrap it up here. I'll make the squad loadout, and I'll kind of explain it at the start of every episode. And uh, that way I'm not, like, tinkering around. Once I get way more familiar with the menu system and loading out our guys and the, getting familiar with classes, um, then I might show you guys some of that thought process um, before we wrap up the episode. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.